Arigato gozaimasu! It is Dr. Vape Hammer. Today we are learning the difficult corner combos. Every time you get a launcher in the corner, you have a choice. Are you a bitch or are you a beast? This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Let me in! Let me in! Wait till we go! It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right, on time is tricky! This is the agenda today. We are learning tackle, tackle, headbutt, tackle, fireball, tackle, headbutt, how to do the Kuroda combo, and of course, tackle, 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 headbutt. But right now, we're focusing on TTH. It's a great meterless option on a lot of members of the cast. We're gonna go over who it works on first and then how to do the damn thing. Tackle, tackle, headbutt works on Ryu, 12, Chun, Elena, Yurian, Akuma, Ibuki, Ken, Makoto, Necro, Q, Remy, Sean, Yang, Yun, and Andre do giant mountain. This is a color-coded guide to show you which tackles to use against each character. I always recommend people use medium kick tackle than light kick tackle when possible. I find it to be easier. Some characters you can't do that. Those characters oftentimes aren't characters you should be using tackle tackle headbutt on anyway. But this is how you do it. It's not that hard. It's just tackle tackle headbutt, right? The idea is to hit down back in both tackles instantly. It's a concept known as charge buffering. The tackles you use will change depending on the character, but if you go to training mode with a Shoto and you go medium kick, light kick, medium punch for the headbutt, you should be okay. It's not an easy combo, but if you learn the technique, it gets a little bit easier. When you're doing the launcher, you hold down back, and it's forward kick down back, forward kick down back, rapidly, as fast as you basically can, and then up and punch. The hardest part of the combo is the second tackle, but if you do the first one as early as possible and charge buffer immediately into down back, you'll be able to get enough time for the second tackle, and because you hit down back, not just back, you're able to instantly get the headbutt with up and punch. Now moving along to tool number six, we have the headbutt. What I do is just, just kind of get that feel, change it from different angles. Angles, 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 angles. As the nice man said, it's a personal preference. If you want to go down back to up punch, you can. If you want to do down forward to up punch, it's up to you. The headbutt comes out either way. It looks like he's going to go all the way. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just... Oh! Jello Beats, holla at me! Tackle Fireball, Tackle Headbutt is a super dope combo I learned from Yuki, Mutant, and Kazzy. Super strong, very valuable on Chun and Makoto. Works on many characters, but is used primarily on those two because of the sweet spot ages directly after. You have to charge partition the headbutt, so it's light kick tackle, then you hold straight back, go tackle to down forward, up and punch. Light kick tackle, straight back, not down back. And then you do the tackle into down forward to get the headbutt charge. So it's launcher, light kick tackle, jab, fireball, straight back, tackle into down forward, up and punch. It's a charge partition. One more time. Light kick tackle, jab, fireball, straight back, not to overcharge the headbutt. Then after the tackle hits, by doing it directly into down forward, you can then pop up for the headbutt. Kuroda combo, baby. I first saw this in a weird Chinese YouTube video. Yuki Spencer and the Urian Discord helped me figure it out. It's going to be light kick tackle, EX headbutt, roundhouse tackle, roundhouse tackle. Now, this might look like a snake falling from the sky, but it's actually Ibuki's penis falling off of her body. Light kick tackle, EX headbutt, roundhouse tackle, roundhouse tackle. The way that you do it, it's a charge partition, so you can't overcharge the headbutt. If you hold straight down through the entirety of it, you won't get a headbutt, so you have to either rock the stick to up back or keep it straight back during the launcher. This allows you to charge partition the headbutt, which then makes it possible to do two roundhouse tackles afterwards. It's a cool combo. It's definitely the most damage you can do off a launcher in the corner without Aegis, and it's super strong. It works on these characters, and it's worth learning if you want to completely embarrass and style on your opponent. It's very strong for stun on Necro and 12. It actually turns into a really neat little mid-screen unblockable because the first tackle sends them back the other way. 
it's definitely not something that's required to learn Urian. It's only something that I've recently learned. It's pretty incredible that you can do it mid-screen on Q. This is called the three-piece in the soda. This little visual guide shows you which characters you can do light kick, tackle, light punch, fireball combos on, as well as the Kuroda combo used in conjunction with the tackle, tackle, headbutt. Visual guide should give you total knowledge of every possible option in the corner of a launcher. Now, for the real shit. Tackle, 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 headbutt. This combo eluded me for nine years. Thank you, Keychain and Telesniper, for finally teaching me. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I've only ever seen this combo done on Q, Chun, and Shodos. It probably works in a few other characters. It's not easy to do. You have to charge partition the headbutt similar to the Kuroda combo where you either rock the stick to up back or keep it straight back during a launcher. If you hold down back through the entirety of it, you will never get the headbutt. That's what stuck me for nine years I couldn't do this motherfucker. There are a few options. You can do three medium kick tackles and a medium punch headbutt on Shoto's. You can actually end with a light kick tackle and a medium punch headbutt on Q. Or you can do what I think is the easiest, which is roundhouse tackle, medium kick tackle, light kick tackle, medium punch headbutt. Those are the options. This is the coolest looking in my opinion, and it's still incredibly difficult. I've actually never done it on Shoto's. I took Ryan's advice and took off all my clothes when trying to hit this combo on Shoto's, and I blew my asshole out. Leftover shit. This is light kick tackle into medium fireball. It works on Chun, Makoto, Necro. You can use a fierce punch fireball on Q, and then you can end with multiple tackles. You can actually do roundhouse, roundhouse. I usually do roundhouse medium kick. Sometimes I do roundhouse into headbutt. Sugiyama sent me RX's Urian guide. It's in Japanese, so Yuki translated this section, and it shows that if you do medium tackle as late as possible, and then an instant launcher, you can do that combo on Hugo. It is only on Hugo. Tackle Tackle Headbutt works with Roundhouse Tackle as the first on Hugo. Ushi, the Urian and Yun legend, does medium kick tackle into fierce or medium punch headbutt. It's the same partition as the Kuroda combo. It's perfect for sweet spot Aegis on Dudley and Yun. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions at all, please hit me up on Twitter at DrSteelHammer3S. Always willing to play sets with you if you're on Xbox Live or if you come to the next level in Brooklyn. I really think that this character is super complex and it's amazing to have a community building up in America where we're all teaching each other and learning. I didn't know a lot of this stuff before I started becoming friends with the other Urian players. So appreciate all you guys and uh, yeah, let's keep getting stronger together.